this is the part of the uh, PNU, which is short for Busan National University program. And I'm a professor of English, uh, English department, in other words, the Department of English Language and Literature. And this is not one of the, one of the regular classes, but a special lecture uh, given with the name here written in Korean. Um, if you want to translate it, it, it into English, it's, it's, it would be like uh, the unity of the Eastern worlds of uh, Buddhism Tao and Taoism and uh, the Western Hemisphere's uh, postmodern ethics. And then uh, after the hyphen or in, in Western style, it's going to be like uh, uh, colon. Uh, philosophy, literature, uh, film, and religion. So it's, it's a long title, but uh, um, uh, PNU, uh, Pusan National University. You know what? Uh, Pusan is uh, uh, originally, it's Busan, starting with a B, uh, capital B. Busan uh, is the southernmost part of Korea here. Uh, Korea is here, uh, it's a small country, but the last part, okay, uh, not Jeju Island, but uh, more northern than that. Um, the northern part of the northernmost part of the South Korean peninsula. And uh, there, the, it's the second largest uh, city here in South Korea. Now, uh, also Busan National University is the, uh, uh, I have to say this because I, I'm, I'm a member of this university. This university is the second biggest or prestigious uh, university um, here in the whole uh, country of South Korea. Um, today, uh, I'm scheduled to do this, uh, this today and then next week. Uh, university uh, asked professors who uh, would like to give lecture about Eastern uh, knowledge, knowledge about the Eastern world or, or Eastern hemisphere, Dongashia Jishikak. And then uh, I volunteered it. I mean, uh, I said, uh, uh, gave them the answer, yes. And then I uh, heard now this is going to be um, on YouTube. So I uh, before that, uh, previously I wanted to start YouTube for myself uh, anytime, but uh, not really now because I'm so busy writing my third book uh, and teaching and writing. Uh, also the papers and so on and so forth. But um, if I, I also thought this is, if this is gonna be uh, the beginning of my YouTube, uh, YouTube career, that's gonna be great. So um, I uh, told the uh, uh, clerk in the uh, humanities um, uh, part of this university, I'm gonna do this and, and we are doing this. Uh, my name is, uh, let me just uh, uh, try to uh, introduce myself because my university students all know my, uh, me already, uh, whether you're an undergraduate student or a graduate student, but uh, after this is on the YouTube, uh, then uh, there are just so many people, uh, more than 95 people, who don't know um, who I am. So uh, my name is Jae Song Lee. Uh, my name, where is my name? My name, uh, oh, here, yes, Jae Song Lee. Uh, there are two ways. Of course, uh, the hyphen, uh, you don't have to have the hyphen, but uh, strangely enough, uh, on the Amazon.com where my two uh, books were introduced, uh, there's only this one, 
just only without a hyphen, but uh, the name on my books uh, here go with the hyphen. So I uh, uh, put the hyphen and then another without a hyphen. Now, uh, as I told you already, I am teaching here um, in the Department of English Language and Literature of Busan National University. And uh, I'm teaching criticism, criticism of literature. And it's not only the criticism of literature alone, but liter criticism of uh, film, uh, philosophy, you know, like uh, um, cinema, film, uh, or uh, society, or international society, or uh, even natural science, like um, uh, 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 Newtonian physics, uh, uh, Einstein's uh, physics, and then uh, uh, what's that? Uh, the contemporary one. Uh, there are lots of uh, Nobel uh, laureates from there. Uh, quantum physics, yes, thank you. Um, so, uh, but mainly what I'm doing is, uh, especially as the beginner sees what I'm talking about uh, here, uh, what I'm talking about, it's going to be like uh, uh, philosophical to a great degree. Yes, it is philosophical because uh, I'm from uh, SUNY Buffalo, which is, which is short for uh, State University of New York at Buffalo, and I started there as a freshman of undergraduate students, and then I got the doctoral degree there, and I taught there and, and, and uh, another uh, university, um, um, SUNY Albany. And I've been teaching only in English, uh, but recently in uh, graduate students, um, for graduate students who don't like English, I've been teaching uh, in Korean, but uh, uh, for more than 20 uh, years, like 24, 24, five, uh, six years uh, after I got my doctoral degree, I've been teaching just uh, in English and so uh, uh, also that includes so many times in conference uh, delivering papers and so on. Um, so I'm uh, teaching criticism and it sounds like um, uh, difficult, but uh, especially because uh, this is going to be on the YouTube. Don't worry, I'll make it very easy. Okay, make it easy, really. I promise. I promise I try, but um, I cannot guarantee it's, it's uh, understandable enough and easy enough for you, but I will uh, try the best I can to make it easy. Now, uh, so uh, I, um, Uh, do, uh, I have published two books here, um, this and this, in the United States and in, in the United Kingdom. And in, uh, let me introduce this. Uh, this book, the first book is Postmodern Ethics, Emptiness and Literature. And then the uh, subtitle goes Encounters Between East and West. Uh, this, um, I'm a very shy person, uh, but um, I think I have to say this. So <laughs> uh, I got the first, uh, grand prize of the uh, Academic Awards, Won Hyo uh, Hak Sul Sang in, in, in uh, the most prestigious um, Academic Award in, in Korean Buddhism. Uh, the reason why I say that is that the background, in other words, where I'm where I come from is Buddhism, and but uh, not only Buddhism. Buddhism is just uh, less than one uh, one fifth or something. I mean, uh, mostly, of course, I uh, studied in the United States and I got the all university degrees there, and I taught there. Uh, so, 
I come from mainly uh, postmodernism, but it's not like postmodernism that uh, says um, like uh, anything goes. Okay? Uh, I come from exactly postmodern ethics. Okay, so uh, first book is very very difficult. You know, in the words uh, got the uh, uh, academic words uh, that means this is wholly academic, wholly academic. Uh, so it's very difficult for uh, especially undergraduate students and those of you who uh, would not have much knowledge of the humanities, especially. Uh, literary theory or uh, have no interest even in literature or or uh, uh, this sort of life. But I bet um, so many people, almost all of the uh, 74 billion people are interest, interested and very much interested uh, actually in cinema, in other words, film or movies. So uh, I am talking about uh, here, um, Ham, uh, you know, uh, part of the uh, relig uh, religious narrative in, in the Old Testament, the book of Job, and then Gothic uh, novels and, and movies like uh, Frankenstein's, uh, no, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and also Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula, uh, and so on, but uh, this is very difficult. And I use this book of, uh, sometimes my, uh, in my graduate uh, program, but this, the second book is uh, much easier. So I'm not gonna use th this today. This, uh, I'm gonna use short part of this um, book, the first book next week, but uh, today I'm gonna use the easiest part, chapter one of this book. Okay, this is much easier. Uh, chapter one, not even the whole chapter one, but um, uh, just uh, some pages. Okay, uh, I think it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's uh, a little bit more than ten pages. Uh, it's it's not gonna be difficult. I'm 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 gonna make it e easy, much understandable. Okay. Um, okay. Here, uh, the, the, this is the poster of this lecture, and we go down there. Oh, um, this is the horrible uh, time for um, COVID nineteen. So we have to use this uh, computer world. Um, now, uh, so text for um, today's lecture here, the second, uh, next week this, but uh, okay. This is, uh, I'm gonna talk about the small parts, actually the two small parts of uh, awakening uh, through literature and film into uh, the dancing light. The subtitle is Into the Dancing Light. Uh, let me just uh, explain just a little bit about this. Through literature and film, in other words, while you read literary texts, uh, like uh, 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 novels, dramas, and poetry, you can have chances to spiritually wake up. I mean, waking up is not only the religious uh, word, like uh, Buddhism uh, and so on. And also, it's also used in, in Christianity, of course, but uh, not only literature, but also when you watch a film, movie, you can have the chance. Of course, I'm not talking about just plain or low quality literary works and film works, but uh, uh, masterpieces. Right, like Hamlet. I'm going to talk a lot about Hamlet today. Uh, hopefully, Hamlet and, and um, uh, Doctor J. 
Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and others. Also the Joker, the film that recently came out. Uh, <clears throat> so chapter one, this, this is the title. Why do we need the meditative mind? Uh, uh, present age, uh, spirituality and what is it? Um, yeah, just films, uh, Parad Parasite, Joker and others. Uh, here you see the underlines and also the blue lights, but don't uh, uh, pay attention to that because it's, it's for you. Uh, I mean, you, you have to pay attention to that. But uh, what I'm saying is that actually in this book, of course, there is no color. It's just uh, black and white. And also uh, there's no underlines. I underlined important words here for you. Yours. Uh, so why did, well, this is the easiest part, as I said, this is, uh, from page uh, 12 on. So uh, why do we need the meditative mind? Uh, you know what? Um, surprisingly or shockingly enough, uh, according to the studies, uh, 20 to 25% of the whole population of the United States meditate. And they know that's, that's uh, from Buddhism. But uh, um, not so many people are Buddhists, but uh, 20 to 25 percent of the whole population of the of the United States do, in other words, practice Buddhist meditation and in some other forms of meditation, like uh, uh, sil silence. Uh, silence prayer in Christianity and so on, but, but mostly Buddhist uh, meditation. And they don't take it as just Buddhist stuff. It's very important for them to calm down and then uh, find the truth uh, of the life and, and the world and so on. What is the truth? Whenever you uh, come to take this word, truth is, of course, uh, the lexicon meaning, the dictionary meaning goes, what is the truth of uh, uh, some social uh, phenomena or what is the truth of uh, uh, anything? Anything that is phenomenal, phenomenal. Hyunsang uh, in Korean. But uh, on the other hand, we also say this, truth uh, is here, the truth self, what is me, who are you? And uh, more religiously or uh, what, the true sense of God, okay? Here, God doesn't mean only uh, Christian God, called Jehovah or Yahweh, but uh, I'm talking about the absolute spirit. Uh, spirit doesn't mean a uh, ghost. I, I never mean that. Now, so God here is the real truth that is not only on your own side, but on the other side, for other people too, for the whole world, and then uh, for the real justice, not taking side, okay, this or that side, not uh, subject or object. Uh, some of you uh, who are not my students would feel, uh, of course, uh, already the difficulty, but it's not difficult. It's very fundamental and, and basic for human knowledge and knowledge of the human being or humanness uh, or humanity, uh, whatever. So, 
I think Hyungak Sunim is uh, very famous in in this in this country, and Hyungak Sunim was a dis disciple uh, disciple of uh, Sung San Sunim, who lived some time ago, who, who, who died, um, who been who's been that uh, for uh, ten years or so. I don't know. Um, but he was a great uh, Buddhist monk, and he was he was called one of the living Buddhas in the whole world. One was uh, Dalai Lama, and the, the second one was Thich Nhat Hanh, and then the third one uh, was there, and uh, uh, Sung San Sunim too. But Sung San Sunim was attending to attending. Uh, literature department like us. Uh, literature department, uh, English literature, uh, and philosophy. He was also studying uh, at Yale University and then Harvard University in graduate school. And then he met uh, there in graduate school, he was majoring in religious studies. And he met, he suddenly um, had a chance to meet Sung San Sanim. And Sung San Sanim said to Hyungak Sanim, who later on came to uh, Korea and became a famous Buddhist monk uh, who is now living in Germany, I think. Uh, who are you? And then Hyungak Sunim was, Hyungak Sunim is, uh, Hyungak is a Buddhist name. So that time it was not Hyungak and he said, I, I'm Paul. And Sung San Sunim said, no, you're not Paul, you're, Uh, something other because Hyungak is your, uh, no, 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 Paul is your name given by your parents or uh, your grandparents. So uh, who are you? Really? And uh, Hyungak Sunim said, well, I'm, I'm a Harvard uh, University student. And Sung San Sunim said, no, it's your social identity. Again, who are you? And then Hyungak Sunim reached the point of saying, like uh, murmuring, and then uh, he stopped. And then he said, uh, don't know. That's right, uh, uh, Sung San Sunim said. Everything that belongs to society or uh, what you see and what you hear, what you know, what you think, what you feel is phenomenal. And it's not really the truth. Truth is something, uh, it's not a thing, but uh, if you call it that way, then uh, something that's beyond phenomenal. In other words, uh, beyond anything or uh, any expression, or um, or any uh, thinking, any kind of thinking. So, uh, and then what are you? Who or who are you? What is your true self? And on the other hand, we say ego is the self, false self. Uh, there's right self, the truth, and then uh, false self. It's not right self, but false self, means, oh, I don't have to explain uh, here because here you follow. Uh, the prime purpose of practicing meditation and uh, staying composed uh, is to reach far beyond those benefits and attain uh, spiritual enlightenment. In other words, reading literature and watching films has the purpose and that purpose is not just to entertain yourself, okay? Uh, yes, it's to reach far beyond uh, phenomena, uh, to reach spiritual enlightenment, but it doesn't mean uh, if you uh, watch a film, then you're gonna be awakened all of a sudden. I don't mean that, but as you uh, go on to continue watching uh, uh, masterpieces, 
then your mind's eye will be open more and more and you're going to have more and more wisdom you're going to be wiser but it's not uh, your activity to know about your personality okay which is phenomenal uh, by the way the uh, first part is going to be English part. I'm going to speak only English here, um, almost 99.99% uh, of the whole lecture, uh, the first part, first half in English. But uh, in the second part, I'm going to speak Korean. So uh, maybe, well, I uh, distinguished between first and second part, but um, I maybe oscillate oscillating uh, between this and that too, because um, uh, a lot of things overlap. And also uh, that would help you. Infinite true self. Where is your infinite true self? Uh, if there is any infinite true self, there should be something like finite uh, false self. Yes, that's what I call, and so many people call ego. Your ego means uh, your false self. Uh, you're, you, you, uh, you're sometimes jealous. Uh, ego, your ego makes you jealous. You, e your ego makes you uh, hate others uh, because they are rich or they have a lot of more knowledge or, or whatever. And uh, you hate yourself too, okay? Oh, I, uh, I'm so jealous about uh, this and that thing and, and that person doesn't deserve that. I deserve that, something like that. So um, the true self, true self then is not some, some part of your mind that praises you only, but wholly open, open to the whole universe. In other words, um, let's go on. The true self is emptiness. Uh, in Korean, that's gong, right? Gong. Uh, it's not mu, but gong. It's not absence, absence, but it's emptiness. The or, the reason why I capitalize this is the perfect emptiness with wondrous movement in, in Buddhist sense. In other words, um, in Buddhism, they call it jingong myo yu. Uh, jingong means perfect emptiness, genuinely empty. Okay? And then, myo hage umjigenen ge isoyo. Wondrous, that's wonderful. Uh, movement. I don't know what that is, but uh, uh, somehow it's very wonderful. Uh, so that's um, emptiness. 